Hello, my name is Rodrigo. I'm a Cisco Tech Engineer from the ice 2 play team. Today, I want to show you how to enable D-Box properly on ICE version 3.x so you can speed up your troubleshooting analysis and understand ICE flows in a concise way. The first thing that you need to do in any troubleshoot is to understand what part of the process does not work as expected. Within ICE, there are elaborated flows that are based on authentication, which are based on radios and tackers, as you can see in the main dashboard for the product. The problem can be also related to the performance of the server, slowness process not running. Once the part of the authentication flow or problem has been identified, the next thing to do is to review what are the log components or attributes in ICE that are related to the issue you face. Within this Cisco documentation link, I listed the most common problems seen in ICE environments. The log on of ICE application is categorized in components that can be seen here. Every component of ICE is linked to a specific log that you can see link between the parentheses. As you can see in this page, ICE comes with a default log level that normally is warn or info divided among the components as well where the information is stored. In this section you can change the component log level to different values of fatal error warn info debug and trace due to the problem seen. You want to enable debug or trace information in certain components to get more information relevant to the problem you want to solve. Take for example posture logs. The listed component needs to be enabled on a nice node to get more detailed information about a flow misfunction. To do so, you configure the components on the ice. Once the components are in the level you require to investigate, what you now do is to reproduce the misbehavior seen on ice. Please reproduce the problem or leave the login on the node running until the problem is seen if the issue occurs randomly. When the ICE has collected the information you need to understand of the problem, what you can do is to reverse the log configuration as you did on this video. Hence, select the nodes from where you configure the logs and select the button reset to default. Unless you need to continue to gather logs to analyze a problem, you can omit this step. Lastly, what you need to do is to collect the data to a start or analysis. In this menu there are two options, one that gathers a support bundle which can be handed off to TAC to proceed with analysis or the download of the log data individually. Here you have how the logs can be sent to TAC to proceed with analysis. Please include the option selected here, the date from where the log collection data was done and select by preferred public encryption. Download the information and then provide it to TAC to review the data. In addition to this, you can download the individual log files from the components to this page. Browse through this page and depend on the problem you debug, download the associated logs to then proceed with analysis. To get an insight more quickly on the logs, this recommendation can be followed. Get timestamp, username, errors, or when you reproduce the issue. It can be shown in a capture, a screenshot, or a live log, but this provides a closer window to analyze the debug data. The debug data of some components on ICE can generate thousands of logs. If you have such information, it is easier to view the logs and then analyze the flow. If you are not troubleshooting, you can reset the log of the ICE to the default level. Logs on the ice are rotational, which means that depend on the pace on the disk, the newest entries you have for a given log replace the older entries. Hence, more information is displayed, but for a minimum amount of time with troubleshooting. Also, take into account that log information requires ice data to be processed. You have now learned how to enable debugs on the ice. Contact tag support in case you have comments or queries in which we can help. Thanks for the time you took to watch this video.